Everyone who goes hella skiing in Canada has a fantastic time. Everyone except the photographer. So I decided to take some time off and go skiing. I'd heard that my old friend from France, Pierre Poncet, was in Canada testing a new Mike Doyle single ski. So I hopped over to the Caribous to join him. To ski with Pierre Poncet for a week is a real experience, and I knew I'd have to rise to the occasion. To make it easier, Pierre lets me go first. This is skiing on the single ski in the Caribous in April. Pierre goes next, and never to be outdone. Skiing behind this Frenchman is something else. The best thing to do is just stay back make big turns, and enjoy Pierre doing the monoski boogie. After a few runs, I began to get the feel of the single ski. Once you get used to the pressure on the outside of your legs, and as long as you never let your arms get behind you, it becomes a stable platform that allows you to do almost anything in soft snow. Pierre is constantly trying to break the sound barrier when he skis. Burying a tip at over 40 doesn't even phase Ponce. He just tucks his head and comes up skiing. Pierre would rather go straight than turn, this gives him a chance to practice his wheelies. That's a single ski wheelie. I spent my time looking for steep places. I like the feeling of the snow flying into my face. I can always tell a good day if my face comes out looking like a glazed donut. To me, this is the epitome of skiing. A quiet, windless day, a blue sky, and effortless movements that create smooth turns on an expanse of cold powder. I had to agree with Pierre when he said that skiing deep snow on a single ski enhanced his pleasure by a factor of 10. The end of a perfect week in the Caribous. 
another highlight for a vagabond skier.